Well, it's a little slow today, which um, I said everything. My wife would be. Let's see. My life. Would, I'm going. I'm going to have a great day because I got to watch you today. I hope sales are strong. I said everything. My wife would be. Well, they're not the greatest. I'm not getting a lot of people excited about slot cars. Now, I did have Bo come by from um, Loves, and um, I guess they've got some big news coming for next year. I don't, they didn't tell me anything, but I guess what they got planned for uh, a slot car set next year is going to be pretty awesome. And. Uh, they are going to do a set next year and they've had an 80 lol brian i'm sure our buckle will show up <laughs> uh, so they've had an 80 okay so this is unprecedented really they've had an 87 percent sell-through rate of the entire product that means cars and sets 87 percent sell-through Okay, that is unheard of. It, it's only been in the store for a month. <laughs> they didn't even get it through Thanksgiving. These things just flew out. This set right here wasn't even in the store for 30 days. <laughs> and people are saying, well, that's because of you, Brian. Well, I mean, I did hype it up, but I mean, I only bought 14 sets. So you can't say that my sales, 14 out of 1,700 sets, I mean, now, I will take credit for a lot of the sales in the stores by making a big hype of it and getting, you know, everybody howdy there, uh, you know, everybody excited about the set from um, Loves. Now, I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday. I'm going to do a live stream until the battery dies. All right, so I just want everybody to understand that we might be going through a great time and then all of a sudden the battery takes a crapper. So I need everybody to just relax and take a chill pill, okay? So I'm gonna be talking like I did between customers. It's gonna start pecking up here. Good morning, how you doing? Awesome. Where's the where's the brick? Oh, it's right here. What the brick? What brick? I haven't had any donuts this morning. There's the brick. That thing will run all day long at the slot car stuff. Rock solid. I should have carried these. That's a great battery. I got one for Daniel, Ryan, and... Uh, Ryan, Daniel, Lincoln. I got all of them. They were here last year, but they're not here this year. The, the BRE sets are in stock, or not in stock. They're going to be shipping next week. So we'll have them on Friday, hopefully next Friday. I'm going to be submitting the order tonight. Everything goes well. I'm gonna to relax tonight. I'm not gonna go out tonight. I wanna to get some things done in the hotel and just relax and, and take a nap and get my energy built up. So I, um, I stirred a lot of um, uh, interest yesterday or, or anger or confusion. Everybody was, uh, Kevin and Arbuckle and all these people were, uh, I'm taking the van. Everybody was, we might need your car there, Adam. Mm -hmm. But everybody was upset and um, yes, the bad man in is in stock. 
Um, I don't have one here. I forgot to bring them. <laughs> Go figure. I forgot a lot of stuff, actually. But th th nobody's really n noticing specific things. But I got a lot of people upset yesterday because um, uh, you got me pumped, and I'm, and I have no interest in semis. Well, that's because you you haven't driven one. Okay, first of all, you haven't driven the semi. Okay, that's the only. Thing. Thing. All you have to do is watch our race nights with the semis. <laughs> They're funner than the regular cars. And we've got so many semi sets. We've got the um, Outback set. We've got the uh, semi frozen Outback. I mean, we got everything. We got everything. So yesterday, I, yes, the bad man is in stock. LOL. You crack, let's see, Kevin Carroll, you crack me up. And that's why I enjoy your streams. <laughs> I crack you up. So anyways, everybody got upset yesterday about um, helium aluminum. <laughs> Kevin Carroll is telling me that it's a, it, it's a gas, okay? But it still, ha everything has a sub-molecular structure to it. And when you engineer things in that standpoint, you could do anything, okay? Do, 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 have you seen the new videos of um, sub-electron sub microscope where they're, they're going in so small and they're finding out that that God created all these little robots and all these little machines and that, that take things here and there. It's, it's amazing. You have a great selection. That's right, Johnny Pro. Baby, yes, Johnny Pro. Go, bro, go, go, Johnny Pro. My teeth are dropping out. I should have fixed that in a, but they pretty much stay in place. I'm not having too much problems. So Daniel's gotten all upset with me because I made a mistake. I make so many mistakes. I made a mistake with this three pack. Uh, I don't know yet, Adam, if we got enough room. If not, I just drive my Mini Cooper. I gotta get rooms too. I haven't gotten rooms yet. Hope they're available. The pu the public wasn't ready for that kind of logic. It's not logic, okay? It's it's for example Tesla. So te and I believe, and this is my belief, okay? Everything that I always say is my belief, but a lot of people are beginning to to uh, agree with me that before the flood that we knew much more about levitation, um, electromagnetism, um, electrifying the air for power. I think that they they moved a lot of things through anti gravitational devices. So Daniel's mad that I screwed up the three pack, and then I came out with this gold. Um, uh, we came out with the gold nomad, but then the gold uh, uh, snake and mongoose car. I think I screwed up on that. You know, it's just like you know, what am I gonna do? I, I've already done what I have. If we sink, we sink. If the ship sinks, it sinks. I I I, I don't know what to tell you anymore. I, I I'm like at a point now in life that uh, I've done everything I can. I've tried to make people happy. I've tried to do my best, but you can't please you can't please anybody all the time. You just can't, especially Robert Fish. I mean, 
<laughs> that guy's got issues. <laughs> I'm gonna nickname Robert Fish. I want it free fish. That's what I'm gonna. I want a free fish. <laughs> So Loves came by, Bo with Loves, the buyer at Loves. He came by and he was telling me that, uh, good morning. He said that, uh, I don't know who's going this weekend, Adam. He said that they've sold out 87% of the Loves sets have sold. 87%. So, you know, <laughs> I wish I could tell you the, the ramifications of that because Let's say they had sold 50%. Well, 50% wasn't going to cut it because that means they got to sell the other 50 to make money. 50 makes they're breaking even. They're, they're making just what they paid for the set back. But if they sold anything over 50%, that's a, that's a profit. If they sold 87% of the sets, holy cow, that's less than 100 sets somewhere which is really awesome. He was extremely happy. And then he was telling me of kind of, uh, there's big news coming to December and uh, he'll let me know in December. Um, so I will let you guys know. And I told him, well, our, our, our customer in my fan club, which I have a, a huge fan club, uh, people just love what I have to say, especially about helium aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> Helium aluminum. I, I it's called HH. <laughs> no aluminum is a a, a yeah a, H A. <laughs> How many of those love sets do you think resellers bought, Brian? Oh, that's a good question. I would say. Why, you're not gonna come, Adam? Oh, now Adam's backing out, what a wimp. I would say maybe 40% uh, of the sets might have uh, um, uh, have been resells, about 40%, maybe 50. But I think a lot of them, a lot of people just, you know, I don't think, you know, you got a trucker that maybe was there and uh, he might have just bought a set because he thought it was fun and kind of cool. And he looked at the price, $79, said, why not? Okay. Hello, Patriot Hobbies. Patriot Hobbies. So, you know, anything that helps make the sales better are better. You know what I'm saying? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Vietnam. Hello, Clint and Matt. I'm, I wonder where Arbuckle is. I'm very disappointed. My life is not going to be the same if Arbuckle doesn't come up. But I do have Kevin and Bob at Electric Avenue. I have all my friends all over the world that just watch my videos. And uh, Beryl's... Benos Dios, uh, my loves stops are all sold out. Yeah, well, 87% of them are sold out. <laughs> you don't understand. You don't understand that, um, that, um, 87% of the sets are gone that's a lot of sets guys i wish i could get you to think logically but we do have the mayflowers which are shipping my favorite mayflower 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 no i did not buy a thousand sets i bought 14 sets that's what i bought i i drove um 
I, uh, my uh, sister-in-law works for, uh, out one. Uh, her inventory manager says it, it what? Okay, so he finishes on, on it. How can you make a sentence? My sister-in-law works out one. Her man, inventory manner says it, says it what? Unbelievable Patriot Hobbies. How can you, can send an email like that and then just drop it, send it, 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 it what? Oh my gosh. Yes, the Batman car has come out, Kent jo uh, Young. That's it. No more love trucks, big guy. What's your favorite trade show of the year? ASD, that's it, no more. Uh, what are you talking about? Read read much? Yes, I did. All of a sudden, you you just finish it at the, you just finish with it, it. Inventory management, it. What the heck are you talking about? All right, I'm going to read it again. Sister-in-law works out one. Her inventory manager says says that it's it's what? It's not a finished sentence there. Uh, whatever your name, Patriot Hobbies. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sister, okay. Sister-in-law works out one. Works out one what? What does she work out with a set? That's it. Has no more love sets. Well, you should say that. No more love sets are available. I mean, come on, people. I told you they're eighty-seven percent sold out. I mean, I don't want to tell you, Robert Fish. Oh my guys, I'm going to go crazy. Eighty-seven. 87%. Uh oh, Adam, Adam uh, Robert Fish is getting upset. What's he saying here? What's he? What's this emoji he sent me? Robert Fish has sent me emoji. Oh, it's crying emoji. He's crying. Robert Fish is crying. You know why Robert Fish is crying? Because he doesn't have a love set. That's why he's crying. He wants a love set really bad. So if everybody would contribute. So you have to give me, let's see, if everybody would contribute to, um, $700, then I would send Robert Fish to Love Sets. <laughs> no, it wasn't $1,305. No, it was more than that. 250 stores times six. What's 250 times six? Well, I'll tell you right now. 250 times six. 1,500, but I think they sent them more to 250 stores. Patriot Hobby's writing another sentence. My sister-in-law, now she's saying it, now he's saying it this. My sister-in-law, Brittany, works at the uh, scary Arkansas loves truck stop. Her regional inventory manager said that they will be no more love sets, sets delivered this year. That's exactly, <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. I told you this almost a month ago that they're only getting six and they're not getting any more. Matter of fact, Captain, how can I help you? Okay. Bo told me that that, that everybody wants these now. I mean, uh, managers, employees, they could sell another thousand, but they don't have enough. Breakfast burrito sounds great. Yes, yes, there's an echo here. That's a paragraph, that's right. Make me want to cry sometimes, the hum humanity. <laughs> 87 sold is 1305, that's right. 
That's right, 1,305 sets. Do you know how many sets that is? I wish you guys could get your head around how many 1,300 is. Holy moly. How you doing? Good. You having fun? You're looking around? Oh, they do? You should tell them to get slot cars. Slot car race sets. Race sets, baby, race sets. Go, baby, go. Let it go, Matt. You don't need the aggravation. Wait a minute, what's wrong with Matt? Who's Matt? Let's see, Matt, 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 Matt. Where is Matt? Who is Matt? If, if it sells go well, uh, won't they order more? Well, yeah, that's just the point. Bo stopped by her earlier today. He says they are doing a set for next, uh, next October. So that's already done. So that's already in the world there. And they're finalizing all the details in December. So we will have all the details of what the next set's going to be. <laughs> and I'm taking credit for it being popular. That's right, buddy. It's the one and only Brian Young. Oh, Patriot Hobbies is mad. I get it. Oh, I wish you could. Patriot. Okay, so Patriot Hobby is mad. Toot, toot. That's right. Toot, toot, Kevin. That's right. Toot, toot. That's right, Kevin. I'm going to toot my horn. Scale auto, you will uh, you will shock it. And you, what you tell me about it. Sounds good. All righty. So, um, today is sponsored uh, uh, for the Motorific car. This is just a beautiful car. I just think this is beautiful. Robert, or, um, Robert Malta, they're just, they're obsessed with, with, uh, with they, they hate, they hate auto work. They hate Ottawa. I think they hate Tom Lowell, basically. Look at that. You can't tell me that's not a beautiful car. Look at that. It's only available through Pro Tinker Toys, baby. Especially this one here, the Motorific. Look at that, baby. And then you got the yellow. All oh, the Bel Airs, holy cow. 57s. Look at that. Beautiful, baby, beautiful. Just beautiful. Some of the stuff that I come out with. Man, I tell you, I just, I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm just a great guy. <laughs> oh, now what they, uh oh, now they're going into the pricing. Uh, I hear uh, Scale Auto is coming out with a track system. Dag Nabbit, $10, $11, $12, $11, $18. Now, when I'm not doing an auction, okay, what are you guys, crazy? Uh, no, I'm out from the bid. I'm not doing a bid. Well, who said I was doing a bid? Unbelievable. Oh, my God. a bit let's see Adam her he's doing a bit not a bid lol correct Brian 
Is there any chance you carry new SCX in the store in the future? I doubt it because they hate me. I, 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 I don't know. I, Well, Lifelike's going to take something bigger than the guy that owns. Terry Flynn owns Lifelike. He doesn't have the capital to uh, put Lifelike back into production. And that's not going to happen. The best best thing for Lifelike was it to be its com own company. But it went out of business. Let's see. If Brian is worried about me, he'd send me uh, that used 55 Bel Air uh, he was holding. That's not a used, this is brand new. Listen, Robert, you just got two brand new gold and chrome 55 Bel Airs by a customer. I think, I think it, I think that's fair, Robert. Of course you would, Clint. Oh, buy him out, Brian. Did you list the XCR Cuda? No, not yet. Uh, does Auto World have a four-lane race set? Yes. It's called the Victory 400 and the Rally 4x4. They have two 4x4 sets. Is Nico bankrupt? Yes, but um, Aduka, which is the largest toy manufacturer or toy distributor in Can uh, in Spain, they are they have re resurrected it with with the with the uh, Scale Electric's father, I think, and son. I think it's more the son, and that they are slowly doing uh, some cars and bringing some sets back, but. They're not like what they used to be about back in 2000. It's a completely different com country, company. A lot of companies went out of business in 2004 when everything collapsed. Well, actually 2008. A lot of things were just collapsing in 2008. Technic Toys went out of business in 2011. They tried to stay afloat, but that just wasn't gonna happen. Lot cars and toy guns. Did you have a book? Yeah. Okay, so this is all of the uh, slot cars. Okay. And then the guns. And then these are all of our guns. Everything. <laughs> this is our whole list of all of our guns. It's a $500 minimum. And you, uh, you, 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 you like to let you do two of these guns. I know, yeah. They're one year out. And these what are, are all these? these are all of our exclusives or all the auto world cars that are available through uh DC by Service. We're a distributor of slot cars. And we have a this is our starter packet for the show. Station to get to the sets and cars. What type of store do you have? We're opening up a general store in like February March. Oh yeah. We're working on that. We we have uh, a big okay. Got it, okay. Well, Clive Cars is a hot product right now, especially with guys between 50 and 70. This set was at Lugs. It shipped at, uh, it October 1st, 87% sell through in less than 30 days. And that was in all their truck stops. You got me, you need a puppy? Well, we're working on it. <laughs> But there's more, see, there's more love. Yeah. Than there are yeah. 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 I mean, Love's had 600 locations, and it, it was in their top 240 locations. Yeah. yeah. But we're looking at other truck stops. Once they see that Love's did it, they're hopefully other companies, but some of those tracks. Oh, yeah, the same track system, yeah. How many different tracks system? No. There's about, uh, well, all the sets are right here. <laughs> this is everything in the way of our sets. This is our starter pack. Gives you sets and cars. 
for about thirteen hundred dollars and a couple teams of track. This is what you want to focus on. Because so loves in every truck stop they put six sets and twelve cars. Eighty-seven percent sell. And that's what I'm selling. I'm selling you six sets and eighteen cars. You're gonna get six of my my exclusives that are only available to my dealers and then general cars that auto will make over 200. And on a nice end cap, boom, you'll start seeing, you'll start seeing set sell. And then all of a sudden, do you have a card? We did. Could you, could you write all your information down for me? Please. Thank you very much. You know, I'll have my son get you in our system. Now these are can cars. We have a whole line of uh, die cast here. You can take one of these. Okay. Don't worry about it. And your street address. You got an address yet? It's so you'll be open in September and January, huh? Well, we're taking I will have to tell you. Maybe first of all, it's just going to start coming. Yeah, we would love to help you. Do you have any questions? No, yeah. What type of store do you have? Uh, we're actually a manufacturer. Oh, manufacturer? Okay. <laughs> I got a grant on that. Oh, God, okay. You know, just calling these are the very days popular. getting out the old plastic truck. Yeah, these are very popular right now. Yeah. yeah. Doing extremely well. We have a website, too, so you can buy all this on our website. Okay. This is our website here, ProTinkerToys.com. We're a toy store. So all of our sets are on there and everything. Yeah. Yep. Come across any Jeeps? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of Jeeps. Well, I mean, we come up with it. There's a lot of Jeeps that they, that they make. Um, they have a lot of Jeeps. Hot wheels, they have Oh, they do, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so let's see here. Pardon the interruption. Brian has work to do. That's right. I was working with customers. Thank you very much for being so kind and considerate. I'm just waiting for Arbuckle because uh, we're going to get back into my aluminum, helium aluminum, a new metal that we're going to invent. Helium aluminum. We've infused the sub-molecules of helium into aluminum, okay, in the sub-molecular structure, not in, so that it, it literally changes the molecular structure of aluminum to make it where it's lighter than air. <laughs> Think about that one, guys. Let that sink into your head. How does that work, Brian? Well, how does, uh, how does um, warp drive work? Will that ever work? Will we ever get to warp? I doubt it, but... Brian, make sure to plug the phone into the brick. Ah, that's... No, no, Adam, because you want me to run longer. <laughs> I got you. No, no, no. Nice try, Adam. Unbelievable. But the brick is running... 
the track and I can't have a cord going all this way. So I'm sorry, Adam, that's not going to work. Do you have any four lane racetracks uh, in your inventory? Yes, it's called the Victory 400. Okay, so let's see, that's Thomas Gosser. Yes, you want to um, go to protinkertoys.com, type in Victory 400 or Super International. And those are two sets. Totally ruined my day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> nice try, Adam. Well, I've got two donuts. These are from these are from Sunday. So this is a three-day-old donut. And um Robert Fish, yummy. Week old. Electric Avenue, yes. I, I I knew he couldn't go without a donut. Well, you know what? So last year. This is the main fair. There's a main highway that goes all the way to Gatlinburg. And it's just one big tourist trap for the whole area. Vampirillas made those for you there, at, uh, Robert. Thomas Gasser, I was at the Cleveland slot car tow two years ago. I uh, had all my lifelike track but it had the wrong items to bring to Cleveland's on Carson. Yeah, there's no converter for lifelike, unfortunately, right now. Let's see, nuke it. Uh, there's no uh, air, uh, units around here. So anyway, if you go down this highway about five miles, I think it's five miles, there's a, there's a Chick-fil-A. So if I ordered from from Uber Eats, it would take five miles. And so by then, the, the, too many stoplights, your food could get really cold. Well, <laughs> last year, I guess this year, they built a brand new Chick-fil-A just down the road, not even a mile. Two light, only two lights literally not even a mile from the convention center. I'd be surprised if it's two miles, probably a mile and a half. But they did a new rule here at the convention center, no outside food. So you have to eat the crap that they sell here. I'm gonna get some popcorn later. Great news, Brian. Okay, now, he, so he's sleeping. <laughs> Z. <laughs> ah, man, Clint Talbot, what a bozo. Unbelievable. Look at these two cars going, man. Look at them go, baby. Go, baby, go. Look at that brick. That brick will that hardly uses any power. that sweet I think I'm gonna go get some popcorn they got some good popcorn there I got to eat the way I I had a new tooth here and I got to watch that I don't pop or break it but I think I'm gonna go get some popcorn as a snack you know what I'm saying you understand what I'm saying 
Yeah, you know what? Let's go get some popcorn real quick. I'll bring you guys with me. How about getting, uh, grabbing some popcorn for us? All right, I'll do that. All right, I'm going to go get some popcorn real quick. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the convention center. All right, so this is the convention center here, and it's kind of light today. Not too much here. Got a lot of cool stuff. Fire sets, electronics, spin copter. We sell spin copters. Blankets. And then the cafeteria, cafeteria is in here. Uh, the food isn't the greatest here. It's basically uh, Gordon food food. Uh, you know, so I'm going to have to deal with it here. And they got Pepsi. I hate Pepsi. So I have to deal with Pepsi. You got popcorn? Bag of popcorn, please. Yes, sir. And uh, Pepsi. Why do you have Pepsi? Oh, my gosh. Huh? Why do they have to have Pepsi? Oh, I know. For the love of Mike, why don't they have Coke? Oh, my God. Give me a break. Uh, let me have a... Uh, let me have a large Coke. Or Pepsi. Or give me a medium. Medium? Medium Pepsi. And a pop. And a pop. Yes. And will that be all? Yeah. 825. Hold on one moment. Back to the show room. Got some popcorn and a pop. Absorption <laughs> processing some more. Okay. All righty. Well, that was easy. Now I get to eat some popcorn in front of you.
Let's see here. Is AFX at the show? No, 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 no. Nobody thinks this is an important show to do. And I'm trying to open up a new market. It's going to take time. No, the straws are not made of paper. I mean, who would make a comment like that? Oh, Johnny Pro. Huh. Popcorn's no good. They're using the wrong oil. Just so you know. <laughs> burnt. You can tell if popcorn's burnt. Look, I'll show you. That's burnt popcorn. Just so you know. Because I know everything. Do you sell? Yeah, we have 164 decals. American line. And we're getting more actually on Friday. I'm going to get a lot more decals. Well, this is the love set. It was sold at Love's Trucking Stops. There's only 170, maybe 200 left. I've got 14 of them. We're going to be putting them up for sale right after, right at Thanksgiving. Or um, um, we're having a huge. Well, they'll be going up. Okay, I can't, uh, okay, so Adam just sent me a text message, but I can't read it. Okay. <laughs> just, what a, this guy's got issues. Look at it, look at what Adam does. This is what he has time for. I don't get it. Unbelievable. They're right below the model rockets. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad that Mark is enjoying welding because he's doing a good job at it. So here is a picture of Mark's welding. I hope he gets, I hope he enjoys it. You know what I'm saying?
I hate Pepsi. It's delusional. Let me clean the track here. So you take this fine paper. Well, you don't want to spit on it. See the track? You see how that little, that grime, watch what happens when you go over it with a, a sandpaper. See that? See how it shines up? That'll affect the car. That will affect the racing of these cars. Watch what happens when the cars go back on the track. You can see it light up. Now this car let's clean the bad on these things is the shoes these things here look at how they're worn out We are going to have a Black Friday sale that is going to basically rock people's pants. All right, Robert Fish. Well, Kevin, just so you know, McDonald's is not fast food anymore. Indeed, it's not. Indeed, you may fall asleep in the parking lot waiting for someone to bring your order. Must need to get the popcorn dust off the track. I would like to hear more about the sale, this sale. Huh. I'm sure you would. Well, the sale is going to go from Friday, 
midnight or Friday Friday at 12 a.m. until Sunday midnight. And on Saturday, I'm going to be in the store and um, we are going to be giving away free product for uh, volumes of what you buy. So it's basically based on volume. If you buy this amount, you're going to get this. If you buy this amount, you're going to get this. And um, it's going to be really big, actually. Yep, long day. Oh no, here's Robert Fish. I wish I wish I could have some Bob. The last the one I had, huge durable. No, it's going to be on the line and in the store. It's going to be all weekend. I'm going to have a, a live stream from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. on Saturday. This Friday, this Friday, your Black Friday, no, it's Black Friday, right after, the day after Thanksgiving. I, a lot of stores aren't, uh, like uh, Walmart, a lot of stores aren't opening on Thanksgiving now. They've shut it down. They found out that they're losing sales. Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving. All day Saturday. Adam Hurt's gonna be there, help me. Yes. Well, I need one.
Well, we've got a lot of chats going on, ma'am. We're in a live stream all day, buddy. Nine until five. We're going to have two live streams, one from nine to noon and then one to five. Not this Saturday, the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday weekend, guys. That's in three weeks. Three weeks. How has the economy affected your sales? Hi. That's a good question. The economy, yes, is bad. Prices are double. But in certain areas, because people like to spend money on entertainment, you don't even know it. Like if you were down, if you came down here, Gatlinburg, you would never know that the, because this is a law abiding state. Go to states where there's no law and order and it's chaos. doing great and then there's a lot of places that are doing bad because of policies.
Very popular. What's uh, the price of, of this and what do you get with it? Well, you get the, the whole set comes with everything you need to track the cars. And you go anywhere from um, our cheapest set is $99 all the way up to $159. And then we have huge sets that are $299 and $249 uh, for a lane set. Very popular. Very popular. We have a website. Can you order them online? Yeah. Go to ProTeachaToys.com. We have everything on our website. Now, is this a special device to make it run? No, no, no. I just have them. I just have them take the controllers so they're all, all dry. Okay. 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 Yep. That's the only reason. And normally you get a figure eight set. Yeah. Or you can build this kind of set. You really can build any kind of set. Thank you, buddy. Yep. I appreciate it. In, uh, indeed, uh, it was. Uh, the only reason I needed a couple of quarters was because those very same children of mine had scooped had scooped and scooped the quarters in my car to buy themselves some Tim Horton coffee <laughs> boy uh, Robert's got problems Don't let them in your car, Robert. Whose problem is that? Thomas Grozer. Look at all the comments. Man. A lot of comments. Holy cow. Free money ran out. I would agree to that. There was a lot of free money. A lot of free money. Well, I can't get in an argu argument with Arbuckle about aluminum helium HA. 
HA metal. Yeah, because I'm working. Arbuckle. Yep, someone wake up Arbuckle. We have a conversation about um, helium aluminum. Whoever invents helium aluminum will be a billionaire. Hey everyone, have a great day. I'm I got things to do. Hope you sell out everything there, Brian. Thomas, thanks a lot. Yes. Yes, you can. What walk? I'm not going to walk. Well, today's, um, today's episode is sponsored by the, um, I love showing this off because I think it's a beautiful truck and I'm going to keep showing it off until I sell out. So today is sponsored by the Mayflower truck. Semi. Look at that. It's got Pro Tinker in the front. Slot cars. It's kind of like that, a little bigger. The, the, the Transamerica has a, a bridge, so it's going to. What type of store do you have? Uh, we have a store. I just have a three. Got toy guns here, Western toy guns. Very popular.
Hey, does anybody know that? Does anybody know if issue one and two uh, passed or failed in Ohio? Does anybody know if issue one and two passed or failed in Ohio? To pack sand. <laughs> Both of them passed. So we have, are you saying we have, weed is legal in Ohio? You gotta be kidding. And abortion is legal too? Unbelievable. Oh, we're gonna be judged one of these days. I just, I just don't get it. No, I do get it. I totally understand where we are in this world right now. And there's going to be a, I'm going to only say this and I'm not going to bring it up again. There's going to be a judgment that's going to come upon this world, especially America, that I do not want to, oh my goodness. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. Are those all little select car Yeah, these are all, these are our exclusives. We do a whole slew of exclusives and we offer them to our dealers. This is, uh, I mean, these are regular cars. And then we uh, basically have packages in which to get into the product and the sets and cars. Yeah. And um, sets are anywhere from uh, $64 cost to uh, $109, depending on what, how much track. Have you ever carried pot cars? Uh, no, but we, we had two months ago, we, we took a week off and traveled around and we were in uh, Helen, Georgia for a couple of nights and they had slack car racing that we've never seen, we didn't know it was. Huge and they had the big now. cars. Matter of fact, gloves put this into uh Wow, look at that. This is they put, they put this a, into 250 slug stores across the country and they sold out within 30 days. They're at 87% sell-through. Tokyo Midnight. That's that's a nice set. And then we did this. Is, we just yeah, came Justin out with, for Christmas done. More of the the one on the bottom too. Wow. And then the one behind you. That's not a golf car, is it? The blue and orange. Thank you. No. Okay, it's got the golf coloring on it. No, but we do have a golf. Um, we do have a golf. Um, um, I didn't bring all the cars. We have a golf um, GT40 for all. So, <laughs> I collect all things gold. Everything's on our website. Okay. Or if you're wanting to get it in your store, yes. It's very popular right now. And this package right here is basically what Love's put into all their stores. They put six sets and 12 cars. So there's a double eight racing lane. That's a nice set right there. So what's, what's our, the, there's wholesale retail, what's, what's that? 
Yeah, so that shirt is, I think it's 90. So the figure eight is 109 at 179 retail. Okay. You have one of these. And you have um, a minimum order? Do you have stock? Minimum order. Okay, all right. And this is our rack em, stack em deal where you buy 12 sets, you get three sets free. You get three of these free. It's basically a $239 set. So 143 set with wireless hand throttles. It's a great starter. Just a fun set. I mean, you got great sets. You got every set. Uh, uh, awesome. Outback sets, Scooby Doo sets. So, what type of. Do you have a card? Okay, so, I do. And, and um, do you have a card in there? Yeah. Hand for it. So, this is something I'm in totally into, but I got a friend of mine. Well, it's a classic car dealership in Indiana, and he's just expanded into selling toys. Oh, Dying really? Kessler. This is right up his alley. This, I'm, but, but I'm going to get him to contact you because I have a feeling he would just go nuts over all this stuff. His, it's Rock Solid Motorsports, and his name is Rock Solid. Yeah. Rock Solid All Motorsports. Motorsports. And it's in Indiana because there's one in North Carolina. We're, we're in Indiana. Elkhart. Oh, okay, Elkhart. And I'm going to give him your information. His name yeah. is Justin. Justin. I'm going to give him your information because I have a feeling this is, this is right up we'd here. Come, we'd come, because I live in Ohio near Toledo. We'd oh, come okay. and do a demo there where oh. set up a big track for him. Oh. We gotta set, I'm gonna be there for Thanksgiving. We're gonna set up for that weekend. <laughs> oh wow, that would be that'd be tricky. I could do the following weekend. We, we, we gotta figure something out. I would love to do that because I think this is this would fit his shop very well. Yeah, very well. Yes, some puzzles. Yes, we have a whole line of puzzles. Yes. dcyservice.com and so I want you to check this out Justin he's got slot car tracks and I want you to show him a picture of all the different these are perfect for your for your showroom I think Justin tell me what you think but look at these kits the kits are great she's getting up to the really good ones here and um, and so I'm I told him I could pass your information to him he's willing to come over to the dealership set up a track give you a display like give you a, a, a show you how it works and that sort of thing. But there's a double eight racing layout. Look at over here the Corvette and the Mustang right here. We have every car you can possibly imagine. And he's even got a golf cart, Justin, if you can imagine. <laughs> he's got Mayflower trucks that are slot car racers. And here a Nomad, a two pack 55 Bel Air Nomad and a uh, Bel Air. These are all slot car racing cars. And you've got the little display on the table here that you can see, but um, Jen and I have a new love for slot car racing. I'm giving this a thumbs up, buddy. I think this is <laughs> perfect for your shop. No, Justin's giving it a thumbs Justin's up. Justin's giving a thumbs up? Okay, good. These cars are awesome. The way they're packaged. Shelby Cobra here, 69 Charger, 65 Mustang, Deller 57. The, 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 the other cars on the other Look side. up here. Chevy Bel Air Nomad, Chargers, Bel Air, that's awesome. Great looking packaging, great looking cars. Yeah, the Dotson. Oh, did you see the one down here? Uh, this is the one here, right here. The Tokyo uh, Midnight. I don't know who'd appreciate that for Christmas more, Justin or Tyler. This one up here, I'm thinking maybe, maybe uh, Justin. Mustang in the vet, but anyways, that's um. So there you go. That's my input. 
I'm sharing the show with you, Justin. <laughs> you didn't have to leave your shop to come to the show. <laughs> what a guy. I know. Man, you're a buddy. That's right. Those are canned RC cars. <laughs> He's watching? Okay, excellent. Excellent. Yes, I'm not now. Two Johnson. He's a nut of these Johnson. The older one. He did say he probably does not remember saying it. I thought Brian was going to legalize it federally. Hi, you're the best person ever in the world getting th these toys. Brian should hire the that guy. He sounds like a good salesman. Problem? is government wants it on the deal big time living crap out of everything yep So what? Slot cars. Slot cars are back. They never left. Well, they kind of faded for a while. Still got the, the old one. Yep. Well, they are making a comeback, huh? Oh, yeah. Loves had a set in their stores. A semi set. This set right here in the Love truck stops around. About 240 locations around the country. Completely sold out. Brings back memory. I still have a track in my attic. We bought a whole bunch of the old tracks. Oh, like yeah. That, well, people are bringing them down and setting them up again, yeah. big time. Yeah, and the circuits where you can go racing and stuff. Oh, yeah. Pretty wild. Have a good day. Yep, you too. Did that let's say he did say it but probably doesn't remember saying it no I probably don't know what you're saying hello general I don't know Brian but Brian the salesman is hard at it that is a shame Bob too many falls upstairs Thank <laughs> you. 
by Mayflower. It's sponsored by the Super Samurai. I did too many exclusives all at one time. Too many. Too many in 2021 and 2022. I should have only done three a year. I think we'd have been a lot better off. I could have invested a lot more money in other places. But that's just the way it is. You win some, you lose some. Now if I can just reorganize and get things back on track, I'll be a lot happier. Pretty quiet in the show. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. It goes in waves. There's another show starting today, and then this show uh, ends tomorrow, and then Gatlinburg kicks kicks off today and runs till it's a four-day show. The problem is this show should, uh, and a lot of these shows they don't they don't operate on Saturday because of. Jewish some of the Jewish vendors they don't they can't be here on Saturday so a lot of the shows will not operate on a Saturday and so this show should start on Monday Tuesday and Wednesday finish on Wednesday this should this show should not be going on the same time as Pigeon Forge or Gallup. They should be spread apart. Because what happens is some of your vendors will just write go to Pigeon Forge. They won't even come here, which is a, a problem. But. Uh, that's just the way it is. Brian, are you pushing Auto World to work on their classic? Yes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Brian, are you pushing Auto World to work on their? Yes. Craig said they're already redoing the uh, Thunderjet chassis. Yes, we had a couple videos on painting the pit kits. I'm gonna do, uh, first thing I'm gonna do when I get back next week is I'm gonna redo the layout upstairs and I'm going to make a four lane, really beautiful road course. It's gonna have a long straightaway. It's gonna go right into a so here's the layout. I'm going to show you the layout I've got in my mind. So I'll kind of give you an idea what my layout's going to look like uh, upstairs in the shed. So we have three seven-foot tables. All right, so that's the seven-foot table. So we're going to have a straightaway. And then it's gonna go into a six inch curve. Something like that. It's gonna have a huge straightaway. I want a huge straightaway. Because we wanna do some different type of driving. 
So I'm going to work on that layout upstairs and do a couple videos up there. Just so you know. That's a good question. I'll show you what's wrong with the ton of jet shaft. One of the biggest problems with the jet chassis everybody complains about is how much the wheels move. See that? The 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 tolerance or the the, the it's not tight. And so the wheels move back and forth like that. And um, they want to tighten up all of the components to the Thunderjet chassis so that it doesn't do that. So, so that's what they're changing. They just want to make the cars a little more um, strange downforce magnets would be nice. Well, I'm talking to them about doing a better magnet, but you can only have so much, your magnet, if your magnet has too much downforce, sooner or later you're gonna, you're gonna be switching one to another, okay? Yeah, you could have a magnet that the car would never come to come off, but it's going to have so much pull that it's going to be it's going to pull on the motor. So it does not have to replace. They do not have to replace them all myself with stronger cars. Magnets would be nice. How about Oliver or not? gluing the windshields on the pit kit. Uh, Robert Fish, all auto world chassis have roughly the same issues. Sloppy rear axle, crappy rivets, crooked pickup shoes, holders, Better. Mm. See, you can only use a chat, you can only use a so many times to where. Every impression you sent plastic and then heat, it affects that mo that metal, okay? And so the metal loses it, its, um, oh gosh, what do I want to say? It loses its, uh, um, its strength, its rigidity. And so that when you pour in that, when you pour that next molten uh, plastic in, you're, you're taking off some of that metal micro, Micro, micro parts of it, almost molecular, and it's it's that's why a mold can only last so long. Give the mold some fix it in. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are just beyond. We have 20 minutes left. 20 minutes left, guys. You have 20 minutes of me. 20 minutes of me, and that and that um, you'll have a lot of fun. What, uh, what about if you use helium aluminum? Well, that is a very good question. So, uh, what's his name makes a very good comment. Bob at Electric Avenue. So do you realize that if they had helium aluminum that 
the weight of a vehicle, the weight of everything would change the dynamics of that vehicle. It has the same rigidity, same strength, but it's lighter. You could have cars that weighed less than 100 pounds. Basically the engine, I mean, your engine would be basically featherless. Cars would be, would float right off the track. <laughs> no, you would have to weight them down. You would have to part, you would, you would, you would have the chassis, the chassis and the engine well, really just the chassis would be helium aluminum, but your engine would be regular because you'd want to have some weight, but you don't want to have the weight that the vehicle has now. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Clint Album is, is sleeping. Thanks, Clint. Thank you very much. I appreciate your concern about my our topics. What do you want to talk about, Clint? What would you like to talk about? Aluminum uh, does not do well with heat on the engine. That's right, so you would have a steel engine. Yes, but see, you don't understand. Helium aluminum is virtually indestructible because the, the helium gives this, the aluminum more strength Yes. I told them about that. Hopefully it comes out next year. Wanky, wanky. There's a hundred pounds in glass on an automobile. Yeah, but what happened, what would happen if everything had helium injected into the manufacturing process in a sub-molecular structure. That's all I'm saying. You're changing the molecular structure of an item in the sub-molecular level. That's what I'm telling you about. Don't tell me it can't be done. Sub-molecular, baby. Okay, the battery is about ready to die. We are, we are basically an hour. It's basically an hour to, to run this. Let's see, where am I at in the way of battery? You can plug in for just a little bit for another 20 minutes. Brian, the Mayflower truck is kind of wrong. Well, oh, what is it now? Well, it's the trailer. It's what's wrong. It's the trailer is for loading dock. The moving trailer is lower to the ground. And oh my gosh, these guys nitpick every little aspect. Oh my gosh, I can't deal with it. All right, let's put this right here. Just remember, it's the sub-molecular uh, comp. Uh, you're changing the the the. You're changing 
the submolecular structure of an item and you're infusing it in another, you're infusing another item, but it has to be in the submolecular realm. Okay. Now, obviously I'm not a physicist, I'm not an engineer, okay? All I know is that this can be done. And it takes it ta it takes somebody with a a vision to make it happen, just like you know, Thomas Edison, all the inventions he made, everybody told him, well, you can't do that. It's impossible. All right, so he basically said, no, you're wrong. It can be possible. And he did it. That's all I'm saying. If people want to have a disagreement with me, that's fine. But don't go, oh, Clint, Clint um, Talbot is falling asleep again. You know what? I just thought of something. You know, it'd be a great truck. Is a is a either a Holiday Inn classic Holiday Inn or classic golf golf semi. A golf semi. Golf oil. Yes, that's it. Golf oil. We're gonna do a golf oil. Golf in the way of the uh, trailer, a semi, uh, a tractor trailer, and. Um, Yep, that's what we're gonna do. I just made the helium aluminum, helium, helium titanium. Oh yeah, that's even better. Even better. No, you're right. Even that's even. Who is that? Jo Johnny Pro. Very good, Johnny. Now Clint Talbot doesn't want to talk about any of this stuff. Okay. Clint Talbot is is getting. He's gonna. He's gonna get off. Now you're talking using golf. Yes. Use Joe's Furniture and Appliances. That's a good one. With the blue and orange color. Yes, exactly. Robert, Robert, um, fire, fire up one. Yo, yo, holiday is here. I am uh, uh, thought I slept through Thanksgiving. So, um, Yes, so that is the, uh, those are the facts about uh, helium aluminum and helium titanium. You could have helium anything, helium wood. Can you imagine if you infused wood as it was growing? Brian, Pro Tinker Team Race Semi, yes. That sounds like a good one too. We're gonna have to take in a high heat is on exclusives for all the time. Well, we are, uh, hmm. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to come here next year. Helium glazed look. <laughs> okay, you guys make fun of me. I don't care. I just know that they made fun of Orville and Wilbur Wright. I know they made fun of Thomas Edison. Uh, Alexander Graham Bell. Uh, they made fun of uh, Howard Hughes with the Spruce Goose. They said it would never fly. Uh, um, you know, so any new technology, any new science is always questions. Oh, you can't do that. No, that's impossible. I love when people say you can't do something. His voice would sound funny with that donut. Tow truck would be cool. Edison stole his, I know, he's just <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, Edison stole every invention, yes. Edison was an idiot. He didn't have no idea what he was talking about. He stole all of his inventions, Edison. Yep. Unbelievable. Um, Adam had to bring that up. Unbelievable. This is what I have to deal with, Adam. Adam and Robert Fish.
those are the two people that I have to deal with nonstop. Robert Fish and Adam Hurt. Okay. Sell it all, Brian. I like the Kiss tractor trailer. Make. No, that'd be a nice one too. Kiss. There's no limit to what you can do. There's no limit to what you can do. There's no, there's no plateau in which you can reach. The sky is the limit. Instead of carb uh, carbonation in poop, they could use helium. <laughs> Adam, you're a complete jerk. Just a complete jerk. Unbelievable. See, you guys are making fun of me, okay? Which I get it, okay? And 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 that to me is the is is the funny part about it, okay? Is that you're not thinking outside the box is, is what I'm getting at, okay? You're not thinking outside the box, okay? You're not thinking what could be. Uh oh, Kevin Carroll retracted his statement. Instead of, in poop. Unbelievable, Kevin. That was too funny. I'm sure you thought that was, Kevin. Unbelievable. You know, I tell you, if we had you guys 100 years ago, we, we wouldn't be, we'd still be in sailing ships. That's another thing too. amount of people that didn't want to Brian you cracked me up <laughs> well I mean come on I mean I'm just I'm just saying I'm just thinking things that you know wish wish could be ha I'm the cheapest entertainment huh Darn cap locks. You are the cheapest entertainment available today. <laughs> okay, so what's it? Uh, Robert, golf is the worst idea you, you've had all day. How about General Electric? Could you put a picture of, do you be on the trailer? Kevin Carroll. Well, the fact of the matter is I can't do a live stream all day long, okay? They are very tiring. I was exhausted last night after doing a live stream. I almost fell asleep here, eating my Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna have a hot dog today. They have hot dogs here, but they're not very good. But I'm gonna try one. This is all Adam has time to do, is take pictures of me. Oh, I'd love to do an RV. That'd be great to do an RV. I'd love to do an RV. Absolutely love it. Guys, how you doing? I've had better, no. I'm oh, doing good. Man. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just kidding. 
Well, I'm all out. All out, guys. Look at that, empty. Look at that, empty. And they don't give any free refills. What a bummer. Uh, paging MR Buckle, R Buckle. I have no idea what the gay U8 is the wicked 30 millimeter Gatling gun that the A10 is built ground. Yeah, Arbuckle, I don't know where Arbuckle is. I'm gonna be signing off pretty soon and Arbuckle will probably just get online. That's too bad, poor Arbuckle. So, um, Rock Solid Motorsport, I gotta find out, let's see here. Somebody, uh, Adam, do some research for me. Rock Solid Motorsport in Elkhart, Indiana, and text that to me, okay? Rock Solid Motorsport, okay? Elkhart, Indiana, and then text that to me. Thank you, Adam. And email it to me also. Attention Daniel, too, okay? Let's get on that, Adam, okay? So, um... I don't know what to do, guys. I'm about ready to lose it. I'm, uh, let's see. I already looked them up, okay? Four eyes. Mike E. Where's four eyes? Who's four? Oh yeah, four eyes. Yeah. How about RVs? Yes. I'd love to do an RV. That'd be kind of cool. Actually, you do two RVs, but kind of like a junkyard, and have them in a uh, a demolition set. Oh baby, that'd be awesome. Man, if I had a million, if I had, if I, I'm gonna buy lottery tickets tonight. I'm gonna see if I can win the lottery because it's like 190 million. If I can win a lot of lottery, I'll, I'll invest in Auto World. I'll get rid of the current investors, get them out of there, and I'll invest 50 million dollars, and I'll come out with the most bizarre things that you would ever think of. Johnny Lightning set. Yeah, that was an idea of Auto World to do 143rd. And I told Craig at Auto World, I said, no, don't do that, please. You're, you're wasting money and, in, and, and tooling and investment when you should be concentrating on, on this stuff right here. Don't worry about this because Carrera already has Carrera Go. If they want to try to compete uh, and get a 143rd scale set, you know, so it just, it didn't work. It was a bad idea, a very bad idea. It's a nice set, it's a great starter set. We have them for $49, I think, or $59. You can buy a whole case of them for a hundred bucks. <laughs> I think, no, it's a little more, I think. But these are just great starter fun sets. You can combine five or six of them. They have wireless hand throttles. It's just a fun set. It's just fun. You know what I'm saying? Just fun. You know what I'm saying? Just pure fun. I was looking at their site when the guy was talking to Oh, okay. Hey, Richie. Yeah, Richie. Uh, my new profile name is going to be Skillillion uh, Fish. Sicilian fish. Oh, I see. He's going to be an Italian. Oh. Well, we've got, um, but we just hit two hours, and I have got to, um, I got to take a break, guys. You know, I can't talk nonstop. 
this two hours did go fast, I will admit. When you get into talking and commenting to you guys, then uh, it is kind of fun. So uh, we are going to sign off. Uh, sure you can. Uh, weak sauce. Uh, think you need a nap. No, I can't take a nap because I'm right here at the show. Um, steam, stream again later. I will try to stream later. Yes, if, if you guys promise that you won't get mad at me, I will try to stream later. How does that sound? Does that sound like a, a, a good good thing here? Go get some sales. That's what I'm going to try to do. Thank you very much for all your comments and all the likes. We had 30 or 27 people watching and we had 33 likes, which is very important. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell button so whenever I go live, your phone will go ding. Brian is going live. Ding. Brian's going live. Ding. <laughs> See you later.